The Irish underworld is no stranger to infamous figures, but among its most notorious is the Gucci gang kingpin. Mr. Flashy first caught the attention of the media back in 2017, when he was just 23 years old. He was unusually young for a senior gangster, but his quick rise came during a time of transition in the Dublin underworld. In the wake of the Kinahan Hutch feud, many older gangsters were either fleeing the country or getting arrested, leaving a power vacuum in areas like Finglas. Mr. Flashy seized the opportunity, positioning himself as a key figure in the Finglas drug trade. At this time, Trevor Byrne, a dangerous criminal trusted by the Kinahan cartel, was the top figure in Finglas. However, after Byrne left the country following the murder of Eddie Hutch in 2016, Flashy stepped up. Byrne had been a senior figure, controlling operations from a fortified headquarters, but Flashy took over the reins and enforcing on the streets of North Dublin. Flashy's rise was closely tied to the open-air drug markets in Finglas. He controlled these operations, with young runners using scrambler bikes and scooters to quickly move small stashes of drugs between dealers, a tactic designed to evade Garda E and rival gangs. His operation was efficient and brought in an estimated €25,000 per week, solidifying his status as a key figure in the area. Soon, he was dubbed Mr. Flashy by the media thanks to his love of designer clothes, luxury cars and his self-promotion on social media. His online persona was carefully curated to show off his wealth and power, turning him into a larger-than-life figure that younger criminals admired. By 2017, Flashy was running a large portion of the drug trade in North Dublin. He and his crew dominated the streets, controlling supply lines for cocaine and other narcotics. Open-air drug markets became common in Finglas. Flashy's rise was also closely linked to his alliance with Ross Browning, a senior member of the Kinahan cartel. Browning was one of the cartel's top lieutenants in Ireland, and his backing gave Flashy access to drugs and weapons, which he used to enforce his will in Finglas. The Kinahan cartel was heavily invested in the feud with the Hutch gang, and they needed a steady flow of money from local dealers like Flashy to fund their conflict. Flashy's operation was crucial in maintaining this revenue, securing his place as a key player in the cartel's network. However, with power came enemies, and Flashy soon found himself embroiled in violent feuds with older, more established criminals. These conflicts marked the beginning of a bloody period in Dublin's gangland, with shootings, pipe bomb attacks, and firebombings becoming routine in the Finglas area. One of the most notorious feuds involving Mr. Flashy escalated to a violent peak in 2019, resulting in multiple murders, including the killings of Sean Little, Zach Parker, and Hamed Sana. Sean Little, a key figure in the Gucci gang, was murdered in 2019, sparking a wave of retaliatory attacks. Little's driver, Hamed Sana, was also killed in a particularly brutal hit. After attending Little's funeral, Sana was shot dead in a driveway, and the entire event was captured on video, which was later posted on social media. The murder of Zach Parker, another associate of the Gucci gang, came shortly afterward. Parker, a barber with minimal criminal record, was gunned down in his BMW. Despite his relatively low profile in the criminal world, Parker's killing was linked to his ties to Sean Little. In both cases, the violence had moved beyond traditional disputes over drug territory and had become intensely personal. One of the most significant rivalries in Mr. Flashy's criminal career was with James Whelan, a former ally turned enemy. Whelan had grown up in Finglas alongside Flashy, but their friendship eventually soured as both men sought control over the area's drug trade. Whelan became a formidable rival, challenging Flashy's authority and sparking a deadly feud that would culminate in Whelan's murder in April 2022. The killing of James Whelan marked the peak of tensions between the two factions. Whelan, who had amassed significant support within the Finglas underworld, was seen as a direct threat to Flashy's dominance. On the night of his murder, Whelan was gunned down in a targeted hit, believed to have been orchestrated by Flashy himself. Whelan's funeral was a spectacle, with large crowds gathering to pay their respects.
But the violence didn't end with his death. In the weeks following Whelan's murder, firebomb attacks became frequent, with Whelan's mother's home being one of the primary targets. Despite his early success, Mr. Flashy's position in Finglas was never secure. The ongoing violence and his growing list of enemies left him increasingly paranoid. Unlike other gangland figures who could rely on the loyalty of their communities, Flashy was constantly under threat, even within his own territory. As the feuds intensified, Flashy began spending more time outside of Finglas, fearing for his safety. He rarely stayed in one place for long, constantly moving between safe houses and avoiding public appearances. His social media presence, once a source of pride, became a liability, with rivals and Gardaí tracking his movements through posts and videos. His once flashy posts now became evidence, turning the very tool that elevated him into a trap. As Flashy's feuds raged on, law enforcement began closing in. In 2020, Garda E raided one of his headquarters in Finglas, seizing firearms and drugs linked to his gang. The investigation, which had been ongoing for two years, reached a critical point in 2022, with Flashy now facing potential charges that could land him in prison for an extended period. The seizure of firearms and other evidence was a significant blow to Flashy's operation. Gardaí believed that taking Flashy off the streets would not only disrupt his gang's activities, but also reduce the violence that had plagued Finglas for years. The investigation into his leadership, combined with ongoing surveillance operations, painted a clear picture of Flashy's involvement in numerous violent incidents throughout North Dublin. At just 30 years old, Mr. Flashy remains one of the most influential figures in Dublin's underworld, but his future is uncertain. The ongoing investigations into his gang's activities, combined with his growing list of enemies, have left him in a precarious position. Law enforcement pressure continues to mount, and there are rumours that Flashy's days as a free man may be numbered. Should Flashy be arrested and imprisoned, his survival in the prison system is far from guaranteed. Inmates with ties to rival factions or the Kinahan cartel may pose a serious threat and Flashy will need to rely on his connections and resources to stay safe behind bars. Given the intensity of the feuds he was involved in, life in prison may be just as dangerous as life on the outside.